Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your May 2016 love and relationship general reading. Uh, please keep in mind this is a general reading for Gemini. If you would like a more specific reading or personalized reading, you can always visit my website linked below. Also check out your moon or rising sign uh, as well that can resonate with you sometimes even more powerfully. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so Gemini, this first card is going to represent you, uh, the general energy for Gemini, hopes, fears, and expectations in love for the month of May. The middle card is going to represent the obstacle to overcome. And the last card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Gemini. So for some of you, your current energy that you might be experiencing or that you're fearing, it's going to be one of the two. Um, we have the nine of swords and the nine of swords is, is pretty much about painful or anxious thoughts, um, that have either been consuming you or bothering you or that you're afraid of experiencing in your current relationship. I mean, it's like, you know, I, <laughs> there's always a positive side of everything, but sometimes we just have to be real with the current energy. So some of you, not all, if you're in a relationship or you are not in a relationship, I feel like the thoughts have been intense or just you're thinking a lot about the past. You're thinking a lot about things that have been said to you that haven't made you feel very good. Um, because this card pretty much, it represents like sadness, despair, discouragement, suffering on a mental level. You, you have not been feeling mentally good in a relationship or in regards to your loved one. And this is not all of you, but some of you have been experiencing kind of this intense energy. As far as the obstacle that must be overcome, we have the emperor in reverse. And when the emperor is in an upright position, he is very controlled. He is very authoritative. He knows exactly who he is. He knows exactly what he's doing. So when the emperor's in reverse, this tells me that, um, for the month of May, some of you might be feeling a lack of control, a lack of clarity and a lack of discipline of your thoughts. And this kind of connects with the reading that I did for a lot of Gemini's that the, the energy has been really scattered for Gemini. Um, on one hand, I think that the slowing down of like the mercury and retrograde has helped some of you, but some of you, it has still been, it's like things have you're, you're just have been in a state of confusion or like your thoughts have been just kind of getting away from you. I feel like there's been a lack of control for some Gemini's like your mind has just been doing its own thing. <laughs> it's kind of just running a bunch of its own scripts and the challenge for the month of May, Gemini, is to really get your mind refocused and to reclaim control, control of who you are. You know, you have a very powerful mind and you have very powerful thoughts and to, to say enough is enough, whatever has been bothering you, whether these are thoughts from the past or thoughts from a current relationship that you're in, I sense that there's just been a lack of control in it, that it's just kind of gone haywire or it's not, it's not focused in the way that is helping you to feel positive because these aren't positive feelings. So someone in regards to relationship for you is not bringing about the results the feelings, you know, the goody, lovey, romantic feelings. In fact, I feel that it's causing separation, loneliness, negativity, 
Um, I mean, you kind of just got to get out of that rut because it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. And you know, the, the obstacle is going to be to turn those thoughts, you know, right side up. You want to get into, because the emperor also kind of, to me, represents your energy when it's at its really, its peak and its full potential, um, where you're totally in control. You're totally using your mind for like rational. You're seeing very clearly, very objectively making very clear and focused decisions and speaking with authority. Because when it's in reverse, I feel like the challenge is, is not claiming your power and not claiming your, your right to be heard. So I don't know if someone has been trying to be controlling towards you or manipulating towards you, but the, the challenge is to take your control back, take your power back in this relationship and The realization is the king of swords in reverse. And what this tells me, Gemini, is that you might have to get kind of nasty. I mean, I don't want to say nasty, but you might have to get pretty firm with those around you. I feel like some people have maybe been taking advantage of you or a lover or, you know, maybe your boundaries have been being crossed because... You know, when the king of swords is in his upright, I mean, he doesn't put up with any BS at all, at all. And he sees through things very clearly. He's very swift. He's quick to take action. So when it's in reverse, he can be a little bit more harsh. And I feel like you're going to have to do that with certain people in your life that maybe they're not getting the message. You know, this could be a lover that you've been experiencing some power struggles with and some boundaries. Um, I'm also sensing that there, there's been some commitment, commitment issues because the emperor, when he's upright, he's very committed. He's very in charge and clear. And when it's in reverse, it can be a sign of, you might be thinking about this relationship and if it's really what you want. I feel like for some of you, you're not sure at this point, like you, part of you is like, I want to stay. And part of you is like, I don't like how this is making me feel. This is causing too much anxiety and negativity. And I'm not feeling like I'm in a good headspace. but having that willpower and that self-control and that discipline is going to be the struggle for the month of May. And I'm sorry, Gemini, I, you know, I know I don't like being negative at all, in fact, but at the same time, we also have to be aware of reality. And the beauty is it of what I believe is that anything can be changed. We have free will. And at any point you can take your power back at any point you can take your power back. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, pass it on up. Um, but for some Gemini's I'm sensing a lot. I mean, this is definitely air sign, air sign air sign. So I actually feel like some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, um, because we pretty much have actually the emperor is a fire sign. So, um, you might be dealing with a fire sign an Aries, Sag, or Leo that's controlling or that, uh, is pushing your buttons and just, you're not feeling the freedom to be you in your best and truest self. So for some of you, I feel like the Gemini is kind of in, uh, there's kind of two sides to the Gemini. And I feel like some of you are in that negative mindset. And I just, I want you to set yourself free <laughs> because you deserve to be happy. And I know that, you know, you might be feeling down about it. And so that's why it's hard to get the muster up the discipline and the willpower and the clarity just because your thoughts are so overwhelmed by everything that's been happening in your relationship. But that's exactly what's needed. Like now more than ever, you need to dig down deep and find that discipline and find that inner strength to just start changing your thoughts, start changing how you're thinking about, I'd say first and foremost about yourself and about your love relationship. Just start using affirmations that, you know, um, I accept myself. I love myself. I love myself unconditionally. Um, I love my partner. 
Um, I attract true love in my life. Just start changing those thoughts around. Um, if you need more clarity or focus or discipline, just start affirming that, you know, I am disciplined. I am focused. Uh, really pay attention to your self-talk and your self-thoughts because as it stands right now, it's showing that you're going to have to take a stand against whoever this other energy is, this other relationship um, person is. And, and this could even be in your past. It could be even someone that's still bothering you from your past that like you just has weighed you down. Like even though you're in, you're single now, you're still, you still subconsciously are thinking about the pain and the trauma or whatever, or the hurt from that situation. And I feel like for you, Gemini, it's, it's about regaining and reclaiming your power and mustering up your own strength to be strong in who you are, in your truth, in your convictions. And I feel that you might have to be kind of firm and forthright. Um, and, and I don't even want to say like mean, but almost a little unpleasant if necessary because, or harsh, because maybe that's what this energy is calling for because sometimes people don't listen and you have to just like say it with a little sting. And I feel like you're realizing that by the end of the month, you're going to be realizing you'll probably just be at your wits end. Like you'll be like, I've had enough. I've had enough. And it's going to come out. And when it comes out, when you have to tell this person, you know, who your boundaries and who you really are and where you're going from here, it's not going to be pretty. Some of you might even leave a relationship and actually just end it and, and honestly feel no remorse for it. Just let it go, cut it off, move on. Because some of you are really off kilter with this energy. And maybe that's what's been affecting, you know, some of the general readings because the reading for Gemini and the law of attraction, the energy was very scattered. Like I felt like there's a lot of confusion and it's just, there's a lot of thoughts going on. So for some Gemini's there's, there's a relationship that's not helping you and you're, you've been kind of in a tough time and I'm sorry for that. However, you know, every situation we go through is a lesson. We, we learn through every single person that we attract in our life and they're kind of like a mirror. They're a mirror of what we need to work on in ourselves. So if someone that you are dealing with, um, you know, is bringing up these intense feelings and kind of you're seeing things in yourself, maybe like things that you need to work on. It's actually a positive thing because that, that gives you a way to heal, to heal yourself, to heal your heart and to move forward. And I feel Gemini that you're going to become stronger through this situation. You're going to kind of muster up that strength and that courage. And, um, if necessary, you're going to do what it takes to clear yourself of that energy. So let's go ahead and draw a heart Oracle card. So what is the healing message for Gemini to help them in whatever situation they're facing, whether this is single and this is past thoughts or it's a current relationship, what can help Gemini for the month of May? Okay, Gemini, so we have a uh, five and we have change your focus. So let's hear what the message is. The key words about this card, disappointment, loss, shift, and appreciate. It says some disappointment and sadness are inevitable. How you deal with it determines the quality of your life. It may be that you've recently experienced a loss, perhaps the end of a friendship or a failed romance. Maybe your family isn't providing the support you need, or you regret certain decisions that you've made. Any number of situations can cause unhappiness. When relationships don't turn out the way you expect, it is natural to feel upset and hurt. However, it is not healthy to remain in this state for too long. When this card appears, it is time to put those sorrows behind you and shift your focus to what is good and positive in your life. Appreciate the people who love you and your ability to give love to others. Take stock of what brings you joy. Taking charge of your own happiness is key here. Focus on what you have and are thankful for and attract more of the same. And the number five here, it represents uh, freedom, transformation, 
sensuality, desire, change, but it could also represent resistance, uncertainty, inconsistency, and sadness. So it's funny, Gemini, because I was, <laughs> when I first drew your cards, I was like, no, I don't want to, I just, I, I felt the heaviness here and I really didn't even want to talk about it because I, you know, I, part of me just always wants to look on the bright side of everything, but just the universe is confirming here that a lot of you are either, you're, you know, <sighs> A relationship isn't turning out the way you thought. Um, you're not happy with, you know, maybe some of the actions or things that you've done or that the other person's done and that some of you have experienced some painful stuff. And, um, I feel like God in the universe is sympathizing with you that, you know, there's sympathy there and, but it's encouraging you that, you know, it's, time to start letting go that you don't want to stay here too long because it's just not worth it. Like life is for living and there's so much beauty around you. I mean, there's a time to grieve. There's a time for that, but don't stay there too long because you have so much beauty in you and you have so much love to give and that you're going to get a clearer, fresher perspective in time In time you will heal In time you will heal. So just do your best to think as peaceful thoughts as you can. Be patient and loving with yourself. And I, I really hope this has helped you, some of you. If you need more guidance or more specific insight, I am offering personalized readings. And I hope this has helped. If it has, I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe to the channel to ensure that you get all the tips and tools and to continue helping you manifest and be your highest and best self. So thank you, Gemini, so much for watching and you have a wonderful rest of your day.